Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to a Tuesday edition of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Hurst. Today in studio, I have Rebecca and Naomi. I knew I was going to say Naomi. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> From I Beyond 7, Naomi. Noemi. No, Noemi. Yes. <laughs> and I asked her before, too, how to say it right, so I wouldn't butcher it. And I butchered it anyway. So Ivy on 7th is uh, also owned by uh, the same people that own Angelo's Taverna and uh, Logan Street Restaurant. And uh, Ivy on 7th, how long has it been in business? It's been one year, uh, exactly. We uh, April 9th was one year. Um, and we are a breakfast, uh, lunch, uh, break, uh, restaurant in um, the same uh, Logan and 7th. Okay, and, and you're not open every day. What, are, what days of the week do you open? Well, we are closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, and yeah. we open from Wednesday to Sunday from 8 o'clock in the morning until 3 p.m. And what's the style of food that you do there? The style is mostly like a breakfast. It's like a healthy, conscious uh, breakfast, brunch, and lunch type of food. Um, that Chef Rebecca, of course, uh, where is like a well-known for that. Okay. Well, we're on to Chef Rebecca now, who really loves being on camera, as all chefs do. Uh, what's your history in the restaurant business? Um, I've been cooking for about 18 years. I lived here in Denver, and I moved to New York for about 10 years, and I came back about a year and a half ago to do this project, as well as Carboy Winery, Denver, and Logan Street Restaurant. This um, Ivy, the theme is a little bit uh, French country, so you'll find things like our quiche, and we do a daily... Uh, vegetable quiche served with a nice salad. Um, well, since, since you brought it up, tell me uh, what's in the quiche today. Um, it's a heirloom cherry tomato and a white sharp cheddar. And it's served with a frise and herb salad. Okay, I'm guessing you're making everything crust is yours, I'm sure. Yep, we make everything in-house fresh for that. Yeah. All right, what else did you bring me for lunch? Um, these are one of our um, best-selling dishes and one of my favorites. It's a, a lemon ricotta pancake, which we actually make uh, gluten-free. We use a local Debbie's wow. um, gluten-free yeah. all-purpose baking flour for those, so they're, everyone can eat them. Um, they become really popular. It's served with a salted cultured butter and some Meyer lemon macerated blueberries and yeah, a real looks... maple syrup. My wife, wife, Gluten-free, babe. <laughs> she's, she's got celiac, and these I would never have guessed. These look like regular pancakes. We do a lot of um, gluten-free options or things that are just gluten-free on the menu, right. so it's kind of fun for everybody. And then what's the sandwich? Um, that's just a, a really simple turkey club. We do get in a local Colorado uh, turkey breast, and we brine it and roast it ourselves. It's with River Bear Meats I um, bacon. Thanks, Good Justin, Justin. Brunson. He's amazing <laughs> and an old friend of mine. He makes awesome bacon. And um, we do a black pepper aioli, just nice tomatoes, lettuce, and a, we use City Bakery um, whole grain bread for Michael that. Bortz. Michael Bortz, another old yeah. old chef friend. Yeah, so Michael uh, did the bread for me at my restaurant. Yeah. Oh, awesome. He's yeah. the best. His ciabattas are amazing. He's by far the best. A hundred percent. Do you remember, do you go back as far as when he had his restaurant here? Um, his little original shot. So when I used to work here, I started at Mizuna uh -huh. and he had this really little bakery right down the street, like next to where Turin is uh -huh. that yeah, shop. Yeah. And so I, I knew him from having that bakery cause we used to get his bread from there. He had a restaurant called Palmetto Grill. Really? That was phenomenal. I did not know uh, that. Yeah. So that's at least 15 years ago, wow. maybe more. And it was not, not that this is a show about Michael, but apparently we're going to talk about him because we love him. Uh, but it was about 225 and 25, and it was amazing, of course, pastries and breads, but the food was great. And then he opened a second location, and as the story goes, usually he opened the second, and then he killed the first one, too. <laughs> All right. So uh, what's uh, your website? My wife's website is on 7 dot com uh www.ivon7.com you can um to uh have email if you want to have a reservation or a waiting list you know call ahead it's a, um, i assume it's a small place it's a small place uh you know with the new guidelines of we open a patio outside uh we offer a bar that we serve spritzers outside too uh, for brunch saturdays and sundays so um you know you can send me an email you can call me to uh to the restaurant 
A one A zero. Pretty good. Um, Nobody knows yeah. that phone number. I didn't, I I didn't like, know. Don't ask me the number. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it either. <laughs> but you know, like, <laughs> but uh, you can call me. Uh, place uh, your name in the wait list. Um, and also, you can email me to hello uh, at IB on seven uh, dot com. You know, like, uh, um, and you can email me and to have your party on it, and we can tell you what we can do about it. Do you do is it a place that people can come and just get like cappuccinos and pastries to yep, go? Yeah, absolutely. We have a full bar of uh, coffee drinks. Uh, we offer matcha, chais. We do our drink of the day too. Um, and we offer, you can come, you know, like uh, some of my guests, they come, they love to come and have the pastries that we make pastries in there too. Uh, and coffee and sit outside without reservation. And of course, I can, you know, like uh, I can welcome them because we are a neighborhood uh, restaurant. So we have to welcome our guests. Do you do bottomless? I don't do bottomless. Okay. Um, but um, my wines are from Carboy, so they are like a well known and you know, like a well renowned in the area of Denver. So, yeah. Are you doing delivery? We are not doing delivery okay. as of right now. We are doing takeout and we are doing, you know, like a carry out. Okay. Anything else you want to say before we go? So we offer events too. Uh, yeah, you did you, can, I thought I saw, did I say cooking classes? Yeah, we, well, she does cooking classes with yeah. Chef Scott from uh, Carboy too. They do, they do offer, we hold it because, you know, obviously, but we, if you have an event um, and you want to contact us, you can contact uh, Mallory. She's my uh, director of, uh, the manager of all the events for the group that we are, Angelo's uh, Carboy um, in Logan Street and also Ivy. And you can book your event. We are open for event at night or if you want to do an event during the day, we have a semi-private, um, you know, like a room that you can have host your event in those in these cases. Okay. Right. I, I looks amazing. I can't wait to try it. Ladies, thank you so much. Thanks for awesome. for coming on camera. <laughs> it wasn't terrible. Come on. Thank you no, so it was much. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Uh, we'll see you actually at 1.30 for another edition of What's for Lunch today. Uh, Slater's 5050 wanted to come on. So I'm gonna be having two lunches. Let's eat. That's awesome. Oh dude. Good. Thank you. Dude. Awesome. <laughs>